Chinese line dances is a, uh, a form of a, a performance art. A, it's a cultural performance art. Uh, it involves uh, footwork, postures, martial arts postures, uh, uh, percussion music, uh, drum, cymbal, and gong. Uh, the lion moves in unison and precision to the rhythms and the beats. Well, the line dance consists of two dancers, uh, one that performs the lion head, the other performs the lion tail or the body. Um, then there's a drummer, uh, usually cymbal players, and a gong player. There's also the, the happy Buddha, or in Chinese they call it Dai Dao Fut. Uh, he kind of is interfaces between the lion and the audience. Uh, uh, basically, guides and leads the lion through the performance, the, the choreography, and uh, uh, shows the, uh, takes the lion through the premises uh, of wherever uh, they're performing at. Um, we go out and perform for the numerous uh, civic events, schools, uh, organizations, typically and traditionally for anything from weddings to birthdays to major events. Uh, you'll see it performed for Chinese New Year's. Uh, it's also performed by Tet uh, as the Tet Festival uh, among Vietnamese. It was exported from China to uh, a wide range of uh, Asian countries and today throughout the world. Uh, developed through an interaction between West Asia or Persia and China where the, the ambassador of Persia was sending gifts uh, in the uh, animals and gifts to the Emperor of China and uh, since lions were not native to China uh, at some point traders brought lions over through the Silk Road uh, between uh, China and Persia. Uh, you'll see it uh, reflected in a lot of different cultures in Japan, Korea, Tibet, uh, all of Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, widely. And uh, in fact, after the Cultural Revolution, or during the Cultural Revolution, uh, many Chinese left China and went to th these other uh, countries in Southeast Asia and took with them all these traditions. The most enjoyable, you know, the movements. Uh, like all dance, it's the feeling, the expression. Uh, it's beautiful. Lion dance, is, Chinese lion dance is unique. Uh, nothing quite like it, you know. You get under there, it's a combination of dance rhythms and movements. Um, I think there's something for everyone in the sense that there's, there's music, there's percussion music, there's theater. There's dance, and so that the lion's been able to kind of pro be provide a uh, represent part of the culture. In other words, a kind of a visual uh, form, if you will, uh, bring visual form to this uh, narrative and this uh, this dialogue about this history that has been, by and large, uh, unspoken and, and uh, unavailable to people.